For me, one of the neatest things about the Hermsmeyer Hat Creek Ranch is the diversity that it offers. It's actually a, a, a very historical cattle ranch up there, and it, it, the reason it is, it's one of those ranches that's right in the middle of the whole valley. And uh, because it is, the water rights for that particular ranch are better than any of the others. For me, the beauty of Hat Creek is I do get to match hatches. I do get to go there knowing something specific is going to happen today, and i got to be ready for it. You know, and that's part of the fun part of the game. It's the easiest place to fish in the world. I mean, it's, you can fish on a quality trout stream, beautiful fish, uh, small ponds, and not work at all. If you spent two, three days there, you're going, from a beginner standpoint, you're going to come away with um, learning quite a bit. You've got flat water, you've got pocket water, you've got pools, you've got open water, covered water, so you can experience the whole gamut of what fly fishing has to offer, dry flies, nymphs, and streamers. There's a lot of things that make a great trout stream, and Hat Creek has all of it. You know, it has consistent flows, it has great insect hatches, it's got um, quality um, diversity of rainbow and brown trout, occasionally brook trout, places like a ranch which have been uh, under lock and key for years. They've always, it's always been private, and, um, and so they're not so much planted fish, but more resident fish, and, just a little higher quality fish because they just don't get the, the pressure. You have a really neat stretch of uh, a little over a half mile of Upper Hat Creek winding through the property. There's two different cabins there on the property. And some people prefer the blue cabin. Some people like the history of the old ranch house. Again, the cabins for that place for me are so much a part of the experience. They have such a such character about them. And uh, they just make you feel like you're home as soon as you walk in the door. And then you have the creek literally bubbling right out the back door and you can see it from the kitchen while you're cooking breakfast and, and you see a trout rise and run out while the eggs are sizzling and try to catch them real quick. Got him. Ah, uh, got you that time. That's a brown trout right there. That's a wild brown trout. I saw the red spots on his side. About as close as I can get to him. Come on, move. Got him. Got him. There he is. Oh, I saw him move out and eat the nymph. He's coming. Oh, oh, oh. Eat the nymph, eat the nymph, eat the nymph. Eat it. There he is. For those people that are there for extended periods of time, it's also just a great jumping off point uh, to go fish for some of the nearby public waters, from the wild trout section of Hat Creek, to Bernie Creek, to the Pitt River, to Baum Lake, to Fall River. Rushes it, swirls, eats. Well, you rushed that thing as soon as it hit the water, he was all over it. Jump right here. I wonder if he was trying for the dry fly. I bet he was. It's just an amazing place to stay and have really more to do in a short fishing vacation than you have time for.